Stay Ukrainian, my friends. Stay Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit friends. Union. Believe it or not, Stay it's me, Ron Kahoot, with. Stay Ukrainian, my friends. Stay Ukrainian, my friends. I am sitting in the uh, office of Eugene Melnick on the 23rd floor right, of the uh, Royal Bank Plaza. Um, well known in the Ukrainian community, of course. Um, but, you know, I've done a lot of interviews. and Very rarely do I get to do an interview that, that, that has the impact of this because of, of, of what you've been through and, and, and what you're doing. Um, you had a, a liver transplant. Uh, and the interesting thing uh, that, that well, I, I was listening to your interview with um, Bob McCown mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Right. And you had told him that the day before that interview, you had found out just how sick you were. Right. I was, uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty revealing. I, um, I was at a press conference uh, with uh, the head of transplant at Toronto General Hospital. And we were walking into a, uh, to announce our big gala, which is happening on March 31st. Uh, here at the Royal York, and um, I just asked him as we're walking in to our press conference. Uh, I said, "By the way, I've always wondered. Somebody said eight days, ten days. How how close was this? Just wondering." And he says, "Eugene, there are nights that I waved good night to you, and I didn't think I'd see you the next morning." They put you up to the see you later by floor. They did. There is one. Um, which surprised me. I found out which, I can't say which floor it is, but there is a floor that uh, basically that's your last stop. And I was on that floor. Yeah, it was, um, it was a little, when I found out, and this is just before we're going into this big press conference. He shakes me up like that. So, yeah, that must have been. Uh... Yeah, but it t just tells you how lucky uh, really I was that uh, uh, I was able to uh, uh, find a liver, somebody that would donate and um, we were able to do the operation, but I waited there for almost three months. In the hospital? Well, in two hospitals, one here and in a, a rehab hospital in uh, Scarborough um, called uh, Bridgepoint. And I, between the two of them, I was, it was at least three months that I was in the hospital, at least. Did you immediately feel better post-surgery? Absolutely, yeah. There was a, you could tell that there was something very wrong with me just before. Yeah, Cause yeah. People, I went uh, to a team, Ottawa Senators team picture, and I didn't want anybody to see me. All the media and the press were there, and I just snuck in, quietly snuck in front, had my picture taken with the team, and snuck right out. But if you look at last year's team picture, you can see, or two years ago, you can see what I looked like. And uh, I was ready. That was uh, late April, and I had my operation May 19th. Now, you're, you're, uh, it was a living donor. It was a living donor. Um, I, I guess logic to me would dictate that livers can be given by a living donor, a kidney, uh, bone marrow. Bone marrow. I as guess well. one lung, but that's like that's like heavy stuff, or that's, uh, one retina. But that's about it. Those three. That that's it. That's pretty much uh, yeah. What they call for. Um, those are the most popular by far. But there's also the greatest demand. Um, there's a huge demand for kidneys that they can't fulfill. And the problem, big problem is that people die, die in hospital, waiting in line. That's the sad part. 4,600, 4,600 people in Canada. In Ontario alone, it's 1,500. So you've got a lot of um, uh, people that simply like 20% of them will die sitting around in the hospital waiting. Or they become, uh, there's somebody sicker than them and you go up the lineup, the sicker you are. So at one point, I remember them telling me, you're at the top of the list. You're number, I said, does that mean I'm the sickest person in Canada? They said, yes, you're the sickest. I said, wow, wow. I'll, I'll tell my mother. <laughs> and you didn't even know about the see you later by floor yet. Oh, no, I didn't even know. I thought it was just a friendly floor. Everybody's very nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? So please tell us a little bit about the Oregon Project. The Oregon Project I started about uh, a year ago. And I was always thinking one of the things that after you get a transplant, you're so grateful that you want to do something back you know to thank the world to for what happened the Oregon project is meant to get people to register that upon their death so they're dead 
that it takes, it's very, very quick that they would donate their organs. And you can specify which ones you want to give. Usually you should just give everything. Not the whole body, they just, these are the eight, oh, there's eight organs you can apparently give. you don't need them. No, you don't need them once you get to, uh, you're, at the, you're at the cemetery. Yeah. And it takes very little time. It's an operation that is extremely, uh, uh, well, first of all, you're dead, but they do it with a tremendous amount of um, respect for the body as well. So it's one of these things that you should do. Everybody should register. Just go to theorganproject.net and we will facilitate your regis government registration. Um, we also have, um, you can go to the Ontario government, Saskatchewan, anywhere across Canada, by province, you can register that you wish to give um, your organs to um, either medical research, or in this case, to a, another person, that uh, they can live on for, for a long, long time. My, actually, my mother asked me, she goes, why would I do it? I'm 83. I said, Mom, you might have one of the organs that are perfect for somebody. And they may put a 60-year-old, as you say, into a 60-year-old. Okay, I heard that my liver is a very young person. And I still don't know who they are, whether a male, female. No desire? Uh, no, actually. I'd rather keep it this way. It's much more mysterious if um, you, you just don't know. So you, you, you put your name in. Right. Which I am going to do, by the way. I'm, That's great. For what I'm you have worth. to tell. No, 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 no. Every everybody should because um, you never know. They may find something that is good, and they don't. It's very quick. Uh, they don't fool around because uh, they want to make sure they can do the uh, surgery as soon as they can. But people should also tell their friends and family because if your cousin from Ukraine comes in and says, oh, no, 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 is there, they ask, is there any money here for me? No, there's no money. You're not allowed to. The guy says, ah, I want him back right away. I'm joking about that. Yeah. But the point is, your family, if it's a blood uh, family, they can override even your wishes. Yes, I know. I'm aware of that. Yeah, so you have to tell everyone, listen, I did this. Please don't, you know. So that's the only guarantee. That's the only guarantee. If you tell them yes, to, tell them they better listen. Yeah. Tell them you're going to come back. I'm going to come back. That's right. Gonna, That's what I said. I'm going to play Lady of Spain in the accordion. And yes, you don't all speak. night long. So, the awareness of this of this project, I, I guess the 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 object is the more organs available, the smaller that line gets. Correct. And hopefully, my my hope is that we can completely get rid of the lineup. You know. Uh, it now that lineup, I'm sorry, that lineup is all organs, right? It's all transplants. It's yes. not anything. We're not just talking liver there. We're talking no, no, everything. no. We're talking everything. But the majority would be kidney first, liver second, then it drops down pretty dramatically down to the heart, lung, and everything else. But um, if you can just think about it this way, let's say you weren't, you felt at the end of your life you just didn't do enough here. The last thing you can possibly do is you can go out and save eight lives. Yeah. People are dying. And you've got to understand that. And it could be, you know, it could be a relative. And a lot of times people just uh, forget about it. But, you know, most people um, will plan their funeral, funny enough. They yeah. actually do. They say, look, I want to I wanna be dressed in this. I want a closed or open coffin. And at the end, I want to be cremated. Why not go on and say, and don't forget, I do want to donate my organs. So when, whoever you have that conversation with, you have to tell them. But the number one thing is go to the organproject.net. Maybe we'll even make a special page for Ukrainians in Ukrainian. But this is something that in the Ukrainian community, it's not talked about. I know that. Um, and the more we can talk, the more we can promote to people, maybe they'll think about filling out the form. You can also fill it out when you get your driver's license yeah. renewed. So, um, but try to... That doesn't hold any more or less weight than going through the Organ Project, does it? That's, you know, the Organ Project is, I think, the best because we then register it. You, when you're registering through us, you're actually registering with the government. It, we don't get the information. It just passes through us. And um, the main reason for that is we want to know how successful we are in a certain campaign. For example, we'll be doing educational campaigns. The biggest complaint of my children was they heard about this and they said, you know, Tata, we didn't learn anything about transplants. And she almost said to the little one, the 14-year-old said, you know, you know, if I knew, maybe I didn't want to know. 
because I didn't know how serious it was. Now she says, I think you should do dad for everyone. Teach us, uh, teach kids about what is about what transplant is. And it's very, very easy. You go to the, the website, you're going to learn a lot and it's going to be constantly upgraded. We have one out now, but we're constantly upgrading. And um, I think you'll learn a lot. And I intend to, to translate it into probably 20 different languages. Now you've had four commercials produced. Yes, they're ready to go. Called in lineup? Well, there's a uh, Daniel Pavich, who's an old friend of yes. mine. He's also a brilliant director of commercials, one of the best in the world. Yes. And we should talk about Ukrainians that do well in the world. And Danny's one of them. And uh, he created four, what I think are award-winning commercials. That uh, one is going to be translated into Ukrainian, and hopefully on this program. But um, uh, they are very, very powerful commercials to push people to say, look, uh, there are lineups here. Why are you going to bury yourself with all the richest things? Like, for example, you've probably thought out who's going to get the car, who gets the house, who gets the cottage, who gets the boat, whatever it is. But the one thing that you forgot to do is to say, wait a minute, the greatest gift I can leave is going to be buried with me. Why? It takes, yeah. you don't know it, first of all, and the family will feel better. If you think it through, if... It's like you was, go, are, you're going on. You're, you are going on. There was, uh, there's stories and stories about people that uh, feel better that their son or daughter or mother or father donated their organs to save another human and that they are actually living on in another person, which is a beautiful thought. It is. We're going to take a look at one of these commercials right now. До сьогодні вже більше ніж 4600 осіб очікують трансплантацію цього року. Без вашої допомоги більшість з них без жодного шансу. Врятуйте життя. Вибирайте theorganproject.net. These commercials, there are four of them. They're going to be um, shown at the gala that, that you are, are putting together on the 31st of March uh, at the uh, Fairmont Royal York. You've got a big world-class star there, but I guess you have a connection, huh? From from 1999 to 2011? Yes. Mike Fisher played for you. He played Except for me. for that time that there was a lockout and he went to Europe or whatever. Right. And, and uh, um, so you asked him to ask his wife? Yeah. yeah. He's married Mike Fisher, who's a very, very nice man, and we traded him to Nashville. And he understood that he had to be traded because we were trying to cut back on salary. Then I remember going to see my general manager and I said, you know, he's been such a good guy to the community. Let's do of him a big favor. So uh, I said, find out what Nash Nashville would give us. Because of her... She, that's where she lives. Yes. So imagine a superstar like Carrie Underwood, who's all over the world. He's playing hockey all over North America. Imagine what time do they have to meet? He's living in Ottawa, she's global, but her home is Nashville. I it, understand that it, it's sold out. It's absolutely just sold out. How many uh, people? For, six, it's going to be about 650 people. And that's, um, you know, we always have rooms for, for uh, but not, uh, not much, because all the people that said they're coming are coming. And, um, but, you know, there's always room if, uh, I, I mean, I'll find it if somebody came to me and said, you know, I'd love to come. and. Uh, you know, I'll find them a spot to sit. But it's, uh, it's going to be a great evening. It's uh, not only uh, is she going to be there, but there's going to be other stars. There's going to be other uh, guests uh, that show up. And um, we think overall it's going to be a, a great, great evening. An interview with uh, Eugene Melnick wouldn't be complete without talking about that, um, that hockey team. Um, you're in fifth place in the Eastern Conference right now. Okay. You are. If, if you need any facts about your team, just ask me. I will. No. Yeah, I think you got 81 points, I believe. Somewhere in there. Uh, you didn't beat Montreal. Come on. That was terrible. Wasn't it? I was, I was depressed all weekend over it. It's, um, it's not that. We, we look, the objective is let's get in the playoffs. That's With a huge Stanley thing. Cup. You guys are good enough. You know. Well, we could. Yeah. If everybody's firing the way they should be, and we've got, because we have a couple of 
guys that are playing that just came off injuries. They're not 100%, they're 75. Like if it's a, that's why it's so rare to win a Stanley Cup. That's the hardest Everybody, trophy to win, isn't it? Yeah, they have to, everybody's got to be healthy. Everybody's going to have renewed energy so they can't be tired. Um, and they have to go in and play almost perfect hockey. That's what it takes to win. And they have to do it every night. So if that's what it takes to win a Stanley Cup. It's not, not oh, it's, 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 an easy thing. Look, if we can make the playoffs, which we're hoping to, um, I'd be very, very happy, as would everybody in Ottawa. Because once the playoffs start, it's anybody can win. Well, yes, as a Leaf hope. fan, I'm wishing you well. Because if the Leafs don't well, win... Well, as a Senators fan, I wish you well. Oh, gee, that's and all your that's Toronto good. audience. And you're a Toronto born and raised guy, too. Um, is there even a little bit left a Leaf fan, or were you never a Leaf fan? No, I was a total Leaf fan. I had platinum seats and everything. I was crazy. Uh, but that was before I bought the Ottawa Senators. Yeah. And then, um, you know, we, uh, it's a great rival. We, I love playing them. And forget about what happens in a regular season. Yeah. In a playoff season, oh, it's absolutely. a whole new game. Oh, and yeah. um, we'll, we'll go after them. Yeah. Well, good luck. Um, well, all the best. You. Certainly all the best with the, the Oregon Project. You're, like I said, you're to be commended. God bless you. This is great. I'm so glad that you're, you've got a lot to give to the community and a lot to offer, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got a, you got a second chance. And, yeah, and me it's, too. And it's, uh, and it's wonderful. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're, you're probably a little bit I'm, more glad than yeah, I am. Yeah, 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 I'm glad, as is my, my, all of my family and friends, of course. Well, I'll keep up the good work. Um, I was going to say stay Ukrainian, my friend, but I am you Ukrainian. are very Ukrainian. Um, and, and I even bought a new tie. Yeah, it's a nice with a little bit of Sandy <laughs> Yeah, thing. that's why I got it. it. Yeah, very nice, because you knew we were coming today. No, I know my mother's watching. That's oh, why. well, yeah. So you better say nice mm -hmm. things. Um, and a shout out, a shout out uh, for, for Yuri Kufus to his youngest brother who lives in Barbados. And yeah, you got yeah. the kids into, into they got the school? To, yeah, I have a school there that I run and 400 kids. The name after you? No, it's called Providence. Well, Providence Elementary. High school elementary? And, and high secondary. School. So we've got like 400 kids. It's a great school. So the, the Klufuses are coming to my school. There are three of them are in my school. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, uh, the phila your philanthropy is, a lot of people don't know it, but that's what makes it so great is because you do it in the band. Quietly, do things and quietly, and and every once in a while they rear their wonderful head like this, um, uh, this this uh, organ project. So so get on the computer, register. Um, it takes two minutes, two well, minutes, under two minutes. Just there you go, and uh, and let your family know that this is something you want done, and tell them that if they don't do it. You're going to come back. Would it be done? Going to come, honest <laughs> to God, you're going to go home. You're going to come back. Yeah. So thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Right, it was thanks. a pleasure, as thanks always. Thanks. Stay Ukrainian, my friends. Stay Sponsored by Ukrainian my Credit friends. Union. Believe it or not, Stay it's me, Ron Kahoot, with... Stay Ukrainian, my friends. Stay Ukrainian, my friends. Still, Still needs an accordion. <laughs>